everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and swatches and stuff. It's that time of the month where I go about to review all of the stuff I've purchased in the last 30 days and tried and give you an honest review as to whether or not you should buy it or ditch it. So here's the stuff and uh, for once there's actual stuff in it, not just makeup and skincare. And I'm gonna start with it right now. So let's talk about this. This is my new favorite teacup. This is from Tea Forte. And you probably know them because they have the tea bags, if you're a tea lover, that comes in triangle, in silk triangle. They're really, really cute. But they have um, very modern looking teapots and teacups, which I've never liked. But this one, and they have different design. This one I thought was awesome, I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, it's a big size, it's ceramic, and it's also the kind of ceramic that has the um, hole in between, whatever the vacuum, okay. So it's vacuum sealed ceramic, all right. And it comes with a lid, but it comes with its own little infuser here, the little basket. And I've purchased teacups with baskets before, but this one has a very, very, fine grid. Can you see this? Okay. So what happens is that all of the teas that I have, there are very fine, loose tea. Um, sometimes when I put them in a the teapot and I pour through my regular strainer, I always get the powder or little residue, whatever, in the tea and I don't like it. It gets greedy. I don't like that. Um, and then same thing with some of the infusers that I've had before, in particular the little bowl infuser. The stuff just pokes out, you get, you end up with tea all over. But this one is really, really cool. You just put it in like this, whatever amount of tea, loose tea you want to put in there, and you just fill it all the way up, and you close it like this to let it infuse. And when you're done, you just take this, put it to the side, you strain your tea like this, and then you put the strainer on the little cup so you don't have stuff everywhere and you can go ahead and drink your tea. The only thing I don't like about it is one, it's ceramic so it's gonna break. You know that it's gonna get chipped at some point or another. And then, but again, it's only me. The one thing I don't like about it is that I cannot put this like this. This, I cannot rest my cup over it because it has this little lip right here that's, uh, you know, not round. It makes sense for what they want to do with it, but I would really like it if they were making it in a way where I can rest my cup on it. It's just me. It's little details. But otherwise, I think this is really cute. I believe I paid $15 for it. They have darker color. This one is just a uh, um, birch tree. It's pretty, pretty nice. I think it's very elegant. And it does contain more than one cup, so almost two cups. So like it a lot. Okay, the second item that I want to talk about that's the stuff and not makeup is something that is as seen on TV. Have you ever seen this thing? This is called Naked Nails. Um, you get it at Walgreens, at CVS, whatever, and I can't remember the price, under $20. All right, so it comes with three little things, uh, wheels. Actually, they give you a, an extra set. So basically, this is a filer, a buffer, and a shiner for your nails, okay? So it has two speeds. You're gonna hear them. Here's speed one, and then here's speed two, okay? So what you do here is that they're very easy to remove. Um, I have not seen the refills available. You might have to go to the website, I don't know. So you use the green one right here, which is a very fine grit to file your nails. Then you use the purple one right here to buff your nails. You know when you have ridges, or if you're like me and your nails split, they tend to split and lift where they split. So if I buff them, they actually last longer. And then the last one here is the shining thing that makes your nail um, look all nice and shiny as though you had put a clear nail polish on it. So I bought this last month and I've been using it for a whole month. And let me tell you, um, my biggest issue with nail filing is that I never, for the life of me, remember to file in one way. You're supposed to only file one way. Because if you go back and forth, you put stress on your nail and that's how your nails chip. And this thing here only spins one way. So whether you go this way or that way, it only spins one way and it doesn't damage your nail. Now my nails were very short two weeks ago. And I've managed to actually, I don't know if you can see 
that I've managed to grow my nails and not have breakage. Why? Because I've been using this. Now, there's a ton of other things on the market. Is this the best one? I don't know. But what I can tell you is that this actually made a difference. Now, for the natural looking nail, this is actually pretty cool. I don't do that because I put so much different nail polish colors on my nails that my nails are a little bit discolored and the white is not really white, it's almost yellow-ish and I need to do a treatment for that. But for natural nails, all you do basically is that you go like this, well, this is how I do it. I'm not going to do it on my nails, not because I have nail polish, but let's say you put it, you turn it on, right, and I just go like this. You see how I'm doing? All right, I just move my finger like this. And basically what it does is that it follows the natural curve of your finger and it will trim very slowly. Not like if you have a really long nail you want to trim, don't use that, okay? Clip your nails first and then do this because you're gonna be there for like five hours, seriously. So I just go like this and then I do every single nail and I, every time I change nail polish, I do it, okay? And then once I'm done, I switch, I get the, uh, um, what is it, the purple one, that's the buffer. And I just do the same thing, but I go like this back and forth. I don't go this way, I just do it like this back and forth. And in particular on the top of my nails right here, where the chip, and then I go over the edges as well, because that's where you get ragged nails and you end up, you know, breaking them. So I do that and then I do the buffer shine thing and same thing and it does buff and shines your nail. They actually do come nice and shiny. Not super shiny, but nice and clean and shiny. And it allows you to just go about your business with your nails being um, shaped in a way where they don't snag on things, they don't grab onto things. You know, if you have like a sweater, you don't pull on the uh, um, wool or anything. I think this has made a difference in my life. And for once, it has seen on TV product that actually does what it says it does. It buffs your nails, files your nails, and shine your nails to give them a natural look. And to me, it's allowed me to actually grow nails without them breaking. Because usually what happens is that I would have nail in pretty decent length, medium length, well, let's say, and then two of them on each hand would break literally to the brim right here. And I would have ridiculously short nails and then I have to trim everything else. So I've been able to keep nails one length all over 10 fingers with this thing. Imagine that, it works. So maybe you wanna check it out. I'm sure there's better products out there. I think I've seen one on QVC or HSN that was way more money, uh, but looked like it was a little bit better constructed, I guess. So I don't know, if you wanna try it, I would recommend you do. It's a nice stocking stuffer too. It's only 20 bucks or under. So that's the natural nail. Um, battery operated nail trimmer and buffer. All right, skincare, two things. I got this at TJ Maxx. This is collagen cleansing cloth and it comes with that, whatever they call it, deluxe box. It's ridiculous, all right? So basically it's the regular package, but you put it in there so that you can have access. If you had a little box, it keeps them nice and moist and um, it looks better, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Uh, this is universal 60 count vanity case. Oh, that's what they call it, vanity case. Um, the brand is Global Beauty Care. Don't know who they are. And this is, um, help to reduce the appearance of the lines and wrinkles. Okay, so you just take one towelette, and I gotta tell you, they're actually good quality. Um, they are not gritty, they're very soft. The scent is very light, rose scent. And they actually do a pretty good job. So I just did a video earlier where I had some makeup on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that so you can see that it does a pretty good job at removing makeup and it leaves your skin nice, moistured and soft. I like that. And by cheap, I mean $3.99. Uh, this is not bad at all. I find that they remove makeup very well. They're not really big, so what I do is that I take two because that way I do um, both sides of the face at the same time. They are pretty strong. Look at that, I'm pulling on them. They're really, really strong. They are not flushable, you guys, okay? Don't put that in the toilet. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a good brand. I'm happy with them. I probably will repurchase them. And then um, I do my hands too, by the way. Um, you notice that because um, age spots are starting to appear and you know, this gal is not 20 years old anymore. So you have to do what you gotta do <laughs> to get to minimize that stuff. Now, 
Does it remove wrinkles? No, but it does moisturize the skin. It's a good toner too. You can leave it on and then put your regular um, moisturizer, oils, whatever it is that you use for your regular uh, nighttime routine. So again, I recommend those. If you find them at TJ Maxx, Global Beauty Care Collagen Cleansing Cloth in their vanity little case. Okay, now the skincare. This is actually really cool and I think this is new on the market or maybe it's not and I just haven't been to the department store in a long time. This is a cleanser by Estee Lauder and this is a balm. And it's great because it comes in a plastic jar, not a glass one. If it was glass, they would charge you an arm and a leg. And basically it's a makeup remover. So it comes with a little cover and this is what it looks like. Okay, so you just take a little bit. So let's put some makeup on. We're gonna do that. We're, um, I'm gonna talk about the mascara. So we're gonna put some mascara right here on my hand, all right? And then what you do is that you take a little bit of this and it you can go over your eyes with it. You can do your entire face, your neck, behind your ear, whatever you want. And what it does is that it basically melts, melts, okay? Melts your makeup away. And then you rinse it off, but it does leave a nice film. So what I do once I have the film on and everything's been removed, I either use those little toilets I was talking about, or I just use a different cleanser and then I rinse off the whole thing. And it doesn't dry off your skin. So you just go like this, you put it on, right? And it literally, see that? Look, it melts the stuff away. You just put it on all of your makeup. It doesn't matter if it's waterproof or if you have a uh, serious lipstick like I have today. It just removes everything. And as you put it on, you see, it transforms as an oil. And then you put water on it and it just gets a little bit of a lather. It doesn't foam, okay? It's just a little bit of a lather and it dissolves beautifully. This thing, look at that. It's, I didn't even wipe it off. It's gone. So we're going to use the towel to get rid of it now. Okay, see? Gone. Okay. Beautiful. Nice smell. This is a great product. Can't remember how much I paid for it. All the links are down below if you want to check it out. It's a pretty large jar and because it melts and transforms from this balm to an oil, you really don't need a lot. You can just get a pea-sized amount on each one of your fingers and start where you have the most makeup, which is usually your eyes and your lips, and then spread the rest over and uh, just wipe it off or rinse it off. It's really, really great. Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Balm. See that? Okay. Get you some awesome stuff. Um, I'm definitely repurchasing this. All right, let's get into makeup and we have a lot of duds <laughs> this time around. A lot of duds, okay. Um, let's start with the obvious, okay. This is this is insane. Okay, Milani, I love you. I have three Milani products and they all duds, every single one of them. Um, I love Milani blushes. I love Milani eyeshadows. I love the powders. Um, I like the crayons. I like the lipstick. But I bought three things from them this month and every single one of them is hideous, okay? Or, or like, what's the point? Okay, let's start with this one. This is brand new. This is Amore Matte Lip Cream by Milani. The color is number 12 and I like it a lot in the tube. It's almost like a uh, tony orangey kind of 40 color but what happened is this and i'm very glad i have the towelettes with me first of all it comes out as like this very tiny doe food and we're talking the goop that comes out of this thing is unbelievable the first time i put it on i said to myself oh my god what did i do how do i get rid of it because i was in the car okay look at this Look at the pigmentation on this thing. Who wears this, okay? When you have skin color like mine, who wears this stuff? This is so pigmented. This is just, it smells wonderful. The formula is great, but look at this thing and then it's matte and it doesn't go away. I have it on, I patted it immediately after putting it on and I still think after removing at least two or three layers worth of this fine. It is so much of a pigment and a stain. It's just too much for me, okay? Too much for me. Look at that. All right, towel it. Let's get rid of it. Again, I like the formula. It's definitely a matte. Told you, 
those collagen towelettes are amazing amazing to get rid of everything all right so anyway um it's a mat which I kind of like it's pretty it's a flexible mat it doesn't dry your lip you don't start to see little um you know fine lines and everything and your lips are not like all taut and you can't talk because of the matte lipstick formula on it so it's very flexible it it's a nice formula okay but this color um number 12 again this is the amore matte by Milani. This color is just so wrong, <laughs> so pigmented, and you really need to get it out of the brush, like you need to scrape it off the edge of the tube. So the bottom line is that if you really want a bold lip and you're young, that stuff is for you. For me, forget it. Way too pigmented, way too bold, way too strong, way too goopy. But once you pat it down, the formula I'm telling you is very, very nice. But come on, Eugene, have Milani to do such a pigmented lip product. It's just, it's like too bold. 80s are back. Um, next Milani product. All right, so I got this. This is, um, oh, actually, no, that's not them. That's color tattoo. We'll talk about that later. Okay. The next uh, product by Milani is this thing. Uh, you probably saw them and probably were intrigued. These are moisture lock lip shines and they have um, all sorts of different oils in them and each one of them is a different color. The color I'm telling you makes no difference whatsoever because it's not like the stuff is actually coming at pink. Okay. Um, well, it won't show on your lips. All right. So this is basically um, like a lip gloss but that's clear so you put it over your lipstick but i used it with lipsticks before so all right so this is what it looks like okay see it's pretty much clear okay um look at the size of the dough food and again i got lipstick on it look at the size of this thing i might as well just use a spatula and just put the stuff all over this is huge this is absolutely huge. I don't know what to do with this thing. This is too big. And the product itself is so gooey and goopy and, and tacky. And oh, it smells good, like raspberries. But it's just the application is awful. And then because you put so much on with this big spatula dough food thing, what happens is that you end up having your lips stuck together. And then you can see the product kind of like gets stuck between the two lips like it makes little I, I don't know how to describe it awful pass awful nasty the other one that I thought was it Milani is not it's actually Maybelline color tattoo so remember color tattoos they were big two years ago and everybody had them like the barely branded and then the one that I love which is the purple one that I've repurchased a couple of times they're really really good they cream my shadows you put them on they don't bulge they're there all day they remove easily, but they were there all day and they were really pigmented, beautiful colors. You could use them as eyeliners. You could do your whole lid with them. You could blend them with powders, beautiful stuff. So they came up with the stick and wand variety of the color tattoo. So of course, you know, same colors than the other ones. They have the beige and the green and the gray. So I had to go and get the purple. All right, and here it is. Not wearing it today. All right, um, this to me, is like so dark I can't see it I can see it as a purple it doesn't have a scent I think it's nice as an eyeliner but I tried it as an all-over shadow of what is on my lower lid and it was a horrible look um, I am not crazy about this generally speaking every eyeshadow that you apply as a stick I've always thought they were kind of I don't know, useless. So anyway, this is the color tattoo by Maybelline. Does it stay on? Yes, it's very, very nice. You can blend it a little bit. If you're fast enough, you can actually do something with this. You see that? So you can do a gradient, but it creases. All right. So if you put it on your lower lid, you end up having a bar like this that shows up on your top lid it's not an easy to apply product it's very uh, fluid I'm not crazy about it so yeah um nope you can pass on that one too let's see how those wipes work it's the same wipe by the way on all that goop see Up. gone love those next oh I'm such a sucker all right, Revlon. Revlon came up with their version of color tattoo. A little late, but they did. Okay, so look at this thing. 
This is ridiculous. I right, so it comes with this big jar. Okay, that's the only purple they had. It's a lavender, silvery, very pretty in the tub. And then they have this thing that I can guarantee you there's not a single gal out there who's going to use this thing. Okay, it comes with, if I can even catch it, it's little tiny brush. Who uses that? If you use this thing, comment down below because then it's dirty and you put it back in and let's have that bacteria just like keep growing in there okay because now we have a darker environment it's silly silly why am i paying for this i don't know anyway let's talk about the product itself so huge jar as a result and then this is the product you see it's not much here it is cream eye shadow number 740 does it have a name nope no name i don't see it all right really excited about this product i saw it at the store I was like oh i gotta try it because i love cream eyeshadows i love the color tattoo and i thought the color was gonna be really cute here's the color you see it because um all right barely see it okay number one too shimmery number two this is not purple this is gray okay on my skin tone it comes out as gray. The more you put it on to try to build it, the more it melts on your skin and the more it starts creasing, okay? And then next thing you know, you have the stuff literally melting into your wrinkles. This is a horrible product, Revlon. And why do I keep on buying your products? I'm yet to see one good product by Revlon that I like. So now, remember years ago, I did a swatches and stuff and I had a Revlon palette that had, I think, all sorts of purple and lavenders and they were like domed. They were cream eyeshadows, okay. And they were absolute garbage. It's it, that's the one. They put it back into a tub, okay. They really must think we're idiots. No, thank you. Okay, next product, um, before I talk about the palette, because I know you saw it, I the, uh, Mascara by Estee Lauder. I actually got this for free because I went to buy the balm and there was uh, a pre-Thanksgiving, whatever. Anyway, the girl knows me. She says, you want mascara? I was like, sure, give me a mascara. All right, mascara. Um, this is an old-fashioned brush. Why am I holding this? This is an old-fashioned brush the way I like them. Stinks like every mascara. Uh, dark, dark jet black. This is the Sumptuous Extreme to give them such a silly name, Sumptuous Extreme, okay? Just like the Le Bon one I was talking about in my Ipsy Glam bag, this is not the kind of mascara that you apply standing up like this in front of your mirror. You gotta put your head back, put your eyes down and apply it this way because this formula is wet. I'm gonna give you a close up so you can see what it looks like. I have two coats and they hold the curb very, very nicely. I think this is a good mascara. Is it a great mascara? No. Am I going to repurchase it? Well, you can buy it, but am I going to go and purchase one? Probably not. And I think the tube is also too big, which means that this thing is going to turn bad before I'm done using it. So it's a little bit wasteful. But otherwise, I think it separates the lashes pretty, pretty well. And again, if you do it where you're, you know, this way and not and not that way, you're not gonna get the mascara all over your eyelids. So I like it, get a B, it's okay mascara. I mean, for a high-end brand, you would think that um, Estee Lauder would do better on mascaras, but it's all right. Okay, nail polish, I'm wearing it today. This is the brand new Sally Hansen Color Therapy, supposedly with argan oil, IK Berry oil, and whatever other oils they want to put it. Okay, so it comes with a three-part system. You don't have to use all three parts. It has a base coat, it has the color, and then the top coat. And what it does is that it's got oil infused in it, okay, and as you apply it on and as your nail polish sits on your top coat and whatever sits on your nail, it infuses the oil, you like that, infuses the oil inside your nail bed, okay, that's the theory. What I like about it is that they remove three of the bad guys that are destroying nails around the world. can't remember which three they are because I didn't do my research, but I'm sure it's formaldehyde and some other stuff, okay? So as a result, it doesn't smell bad at all. Let me see. No, it 
it's very faint. It's nail polish smell, but not bad. The brush, love it. That's one of the things I like about um, Sally Hansen is that their brushes are fat and flat. See that? Fat and flat. Love them. Why? Because they have a wide nail bed. Some of you girls are real uh, lucky. You have very skinny, long nail. Me, I have very wide, fat nails that just spread this way when they grow long. So I have to keep them trimmed at all times. The color I got is 400 in exotic. Okay, is that a say? Okay, I'm not sure. The berry, all right? So it looks very nice here. It's like a, a deep purple with a, a gray and suede kind of color in it. Looks very, very nice. But then you apply two coat and it's much darker that's in the bottle. It looks more like a vamp color. That being said, the application is very good, like all Sally Hansen products. The duration of it is really good, especially if you cap your nail, you know, at the end with it so it doesn't start to peel back. I got a good five days out of this without peeling and chipping and the shine is pretty all right. I don't have a shine coat, okay? I just wanted to show you what it looks like without any top coat on it. What I did do though is that I'm not using the base coat or the top coat. You don't have to. If you want to use the system altogether, you can, but if you want to just use your regular base coat, if you have a treatment coat, you can use that. You can use this one and then put whatever other top coat you want because I really don't think that the oil um, in it is going to make that much of a difference unless this is all you use for the rest of your life. Do you get the point? Okay. Okay, let's talk about the big one. I was one of the lucky people who managed to score the Swamp Queen um, palette by Tarte. Okay, if you don't know who the Graveyard Girl is, Bunny Meyer, she's on YouTube, she's got over million subscriber she's really funny and what i like the most about her is that she has no problem showing herself absolutely beautiful and glamorous with full head of hair and makeup and or looking like she just woke up from the hangover and kind of like me all right so because that's real life we're not always beautiful or made up or all that stuff so i like that and she's very funny kind of weird sometimes but very funny so check her out channel is down below so she was lucky enough because you know she's big on YouTube she was lucky enough to have Tarte do a palette with her and um, it's called the Swamp Queen because you know it's an inside joke with whatever she does and it was a limited edition I don't know if it's still available it's $45 I had to get it I just had to get it because I never get my hands on a limited edition ever I'm always behind I'm always late they are always out of stock and then by the time they restock it I lost interest okay so I just jumped on this one and I got it. Here it is. First of all, let's talk about the quality. Um, the quality is amazing. It's a beautiful palette. It's got a nice, you hear that? Um, magnet. Beautiful mirror. And then on top of the mirror, there's a little quote that says, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your personality. I can vote for that. And here it is. Comes with a brush. Um, nobody uses those. It's a cute brush. I mean, it's a tart brush. It's actually good quality. It's got a good handle. And it comes with everything you need to do a full look. I'm going to try to not show the camera. Okay, so you get three here that are blushes. You get a highlighter, you get the blush, and you get kind of like the bronzer. All right, and then you get a nice selection. You get nine eyeshadows. Some of them are shimmer, some of them are matte. Now, you can do complete looks with this. I'm wearing it today. The great thing about it is that you can do combos. All right, so you can do this look, this look, this look, or you can do this look, this look, this look, or you can do this look, right? Or you can do what I do, which is like pretty much go all over the place. All right, get it? Let's talk about the quality. Super disappointed. All right, it's a $45 palette and it's by Tarte. I was expecting the same quality I had from my Tartelette. This palette has a lot of fallout. And I'm gonna use their brush to show you, okay? See that, look. You see the fallout on this? Look at that, it's everywhere. And, and that's not good. You shouldn't have, oh, you see that? Okay, you shouldn't have fallout like this on a high-end uh, palette. Sorry, Tarte, you missed the boat on this one. Now, let's talk about the colors. I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm not sure this is the right color for me. I'm gonna show you my eyes again. Now remember girls, I'm 46, okay? So if you are um, in your 20s, you probably can pull that look. Me, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit too harsh. And it's not 
just like Bunny, this is not too subtle, okay? So, I have uh, this one right here all over, right? I have uh, this one right here, I put it at the corner a little bit. I put the, where is it? It's the shimmery gold right here. I got that on the lids, right? And can you see the mess in the mirror in my house? Look, 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 can you see? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have the orange one here in the corner and I blended it. Okay, I really did blend it. And then I have this purple one here. I put it a little bit over here on the eyeliner. And then I use this one here, which, and then I use this one here, and you can probably tell, which is like a, a dark burgundy with a lot of glitter. I used it wet as an eyeliner. So overall, the quality is not what I would expect from Tarte. Um, I think that the colors, in particular the combination that I did today, is not something that I would wear on an everyday look. I think that it's a little bit too bold for me, for my face. Um, plus I have a heavy face because I've gained a lot of weight, so it's not necessarily a great look, okay? But that being said, I think the colors are very nice.